Signs are highly important. They teach me how to act like a normal functional member of society in the rare moments that I go out. However, there's still a long way to go because people are still acting in all sorts of weird and ridiculous manners. Which is why today I'm going to create some signs on my own and I'm also going to improve on some current signs. Have you ever been outside? But hear someone just talking away obnoxiously on their phone as if there's no one around them. Or maybe there's a child nearby just crying and their parents don't care. It, it completely ruins my day. Which is why this sign will fix all that. It's a tape dispenser. And what this does is anyone this loud, just tape their mouths shut. The best part is completely legal. The sign says so. I'm sure you're familiar with a group of people taking up both sides of the escalator. It's frustrating. Being a group of friends, a couple, you're blocking my way. I'm, I'm, I have places to be, but at the same time, I can't tell you to move. The social anxiety won't let me. So, I've eliminated the root cause entirely. Only sad and single, lonely people can take escalators. Street signs aren't inclusive of those who are blind, and this is a great time to do a bit of charity. What I have here is a sign that tells blind people where they have to go, and I've been so thoughtful because blind people speak braille, right? Yep, I've left an arrow for them in braille that they can feel and know where they should go. You can thank me later. Don't you hate it whenever you're outside and you spend hundreds of dollars on things you don't even need? It happens to me a lot when I'm in electronic stores because I'm a greedy human being that needs shiny gadgets, okay? And this sign is important because I don't even need these gadgets. Oh, a cool handphone mount for your car? I don't even drive, why am I buying one? It should be mandatory for each electronic store to have this sign. Sometimes you just have to go when you're outside. It's, it's an unfortunate occasion but you have to deal with it. What's worse is when you go to a cubicle and you're halfway through it and there's no toilet paper. What are you going to do? This is why this sign, it's transparent by the way. It, it, you can put your hand through it and reach into the next cubicle and grab their toilet paper. And if the neighbor on your right doesn't have any, you can reach for the one on your left. I'm sick and tired of doctors and dentists lying to me, telling me, oh, this simple procedure won't hurt. I'm just gonna pull about five of your teeth out. It won't hurt because of this magic liquid that you should trust. Oh no, I don't trust you. This sign should be placed in every office. Now that that's done and over with, we are moving on to signs that don't work as well as they should. Do you know why you shouldn't feed birds? Because you start getting greedy and attack you for food. But people don't understand that, so we have to try a different approach. There's been this theory going around that birds are secretly drones employed by the government, and I'd like to tap on that. Now, the birds will collect your DNA that's found on bread samples, and it'll be sent to the government for processing. Whatever you do with your DNA, oh don't worry about that. You'll find out eventually. Actually, this sign works, but I'd like to make a very small adjustment, and that's to swap two letters. And I'm sure now it's more effective. This is going to get more people to stop. It's frustrating to be bullied for wearing glasses. The only reason you're not is because you try to hide on the eye chart. Which is why I'm going to make a few changes to it. Go ahead, read it. By the way, the last letter is B. Oh, you didn't know that? I guess you need glasses now, don't you? I've worked countless of hours in retail, and these signs don't work. There'll always be this one guy with the inability to read, which is why I've given up completely. Just do it, I dare you, okay? At this point, it's just natural selection. 